So I've been working on something. Um, this is my own little PNG tuber software. As you can see, this is already reacting to myself speaking. But this can do so much more. So let me quickly show it to you. So if you just want to hide the settings, I can just double click on the outer and that would just hide. Um, here I can just uh, go through all the different um, menus. Uh, this one is just a microphone setup where I can select which uh, microphone I want to use and what the threshold for talking is if I raise it all up way up high, then don't trigger again and it won't move and I end up moving too low, I think it will move all the time. Yeah, that's that. So somewhere around here is fine. You can basically just check how high your audio peaks on the left and then just adjust the right. Uh, next is just the background. Uh, the fancy thing this can do is just set the background to transparent. This just actually makes the window background transparent, which makes it quite easy to capture in OBS. And I just put this uh, OBS text behind it. Uh, but do you set it up? It's usually easier to have some sort of background. So, uh, yeah, so let's do, I don't know, maybe, maybe it seems good. Uh, then I have layer setup where I can set up a variety of effects and triggers. Um, this is a bit complicated, but basically I can have stuff triggered in different ways. One is like auto active, then hotkey, uh, Twitch regime and Twitch bits. And for example, if I do this and I just spin around. And if I go down here, here's my wiggle effect that I have. If I remove this and click apply, then I'm just still. And I won't be wiggling anymore. If I want to add something, just add it again. And now I have some sort of squish effect. I think to hear the parameter is a little much, so let's change that up. Just a little bit. Uh, now I just stretch me horizontally because just put it like strength Y and no X strength. So it just stretches me as I talk. But yeah, there are all sort of uh, parameters and I can also combine them. I can have two here. And as I click apply, I have like this effect and I can change the frequency, which makes it move slower. And I can also change like the ramping, like how fast it, it goes to the maximum strength, etc., etc. So this can do quite a bit of stuff and it's easiest to play around with it. Uh, next, I have different avatar states where I can also set the blink interval and blink time. So how long the eyes stay closed and how long it takes to the eyes to get to that state. And I can just add another state here. And if I click activate, I'm now a question mark. <laughs> and if I click on this, then I just go back. I can also toggle it here and I can also add like a hotkey. And if I click like apply, I can do this and just swap it using the hotkey. Next is the tits, the Twitch integrated throwing system. This is basically uh, the same thing as VTube Studio has, but as a plugin. Um, so this is this connects to Twitch, and if you get a donation, then this will happen. <coughs> and yeah, I put that sound in. <laughs> uh, you can also click show hitbox. This shows the hitbox of my model. And this moves mostly with the model, but not rotation for now. I'm still working on this. Uh, yeah. I can also change like a variety of different parameters here. So the speed, etc., etc. Next is profiles. I can like create different profiles where I can just do different characters. And I can also set it to TTS, uh, which will be like a TTS pet thing in the future. This isn't integrated yet, but will most likely be the next thing I'll work on. And in general seconds, I can just enable Twitch. That's not enabled by default. I can show my FPS counter. I can also enable low spec mode, which will put the FPS lower and make it uh, 
a little less performance hungry and I can activate spout here. If you don't know what spout is, that's just basically a protocol to send images between applications. And this is mostly the, mostly the way most applications uh, send their output to stuff like OBS and also put like an install the OBS button on the right where you can just see how you install the OBS plugin for that. And here are the credits. This was created by me. Uh, I had some this default character, which doesn't have a name yet, commissioned, and also made a logo. So you can check these guys out if you want something with them. But yeah, that should be it. Um, if you want to check the software out or uh, download it, um, I'll link my coffee. Um, uh, it will be downloadable there but I'll put it on Steam in the future. And once I put it on Steam, I will also open source it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.